Hello and welcome to a new episode of All Plan Engineering Questions and Answers. Today I'm going to answer a question that bothers many users, which is how to create your particular title block. You know, All Plan already comes with some predefined title blocks, but rarely do they fit the format of your company. And it's a very mundane task to change all the title blocks from all your plans inside of a project because as we know in real projects we always have changes to do maybe the address changes the name of the project the architect is changed changes all the time and if you have to do the changes manually on each plan each every time we lose a lot of energy time and we might become frustrated so i would like to end this and show you how easy you can create your own title block that fits your company standard and you can reuse it throughout all of your projects and you have one centralized place where every information regarding the project is stored and all these titles and information will be automatically updated to your title block. So let's do it now. In order to do a smart title block we'll need to start from a dumb one and I mean no offense to this one but you will need to start with some 2D example. Maybe you draw in all plan using the basic module with lines, with rectangles. You design the boxes, use coordinates here, and you can input the static text using the normal functions. Or you can use this file import AutoCAD data and make sure if you are doing like this with import to know the drawing unit when importing and to know at which layout scale uh, the object the plan that you import and contains the title block has been designed and most importantly is here that the reference line when importing should be one because we'll have to draw one on one this title block so we already have one example here this title block consists of lines polylines boxes and whatever you need we have static texts, which are texts that are fixed, and uh, we have placeholders for texts which is going to be dynamic. So texts that we know are changing from project to project, or can change even during a project, are most likely going to be created as variable texts, which help us with this intelligent updating. So first of all, you need to complete with this static text and make sure you have enough blanks and enough room so you'll get a good view. The second step you need to take is to go to file, new project, project, uh, and open the project. Select the project, right click, and go to properties. Here we'll find some information regarding the project, but also we have this button that we can use to assign attributes. So we see here attributes that have been assigned to this project we can hide those unassigned or we can unhide them so here we can add info regarding the architect uh, architect address uh, uh, we can go to building contractor or building information place here the title of the project the project's address then we can see the stage technical project or authorization to input the phase of it and we basically have to choose here what attributes are relevant for our title blocks. So basically uh, here we can input whatever we know about the project and think that is something relevant like the number of the project, the client, the checker, we can give the name. And whatever information it's needed needs to be completed here. We, after we complete it here and we can get back here at any time, we hit OK, OK, OK. And we get back in this model area. We're going to replace some old text or place what is empty uh, and replace it with some attributes. To do that, we'll have to go from basic to bonus tools and here we should uh, jump to 
this area of smart symbols and here we're going to use label style so what this how does this label style work it allows us to read attributes so i will select here attribute and here we can have several attributes that all plan can read from the project but i will go to this category of project and here i will select now this attribute called architect i'll hit ok and here there are some basic settings of the dimensions maybe i want 2 by 5 2 by 5 or i can use uh, some more skewed text hit enter and we see here a preview here we can insert the number of characters that we allow for some you know, some uh, situations we can use different units we can scale the text to fit inside to have a different ratio from height and width so here is the maximum number of characters that we allow and we make sure that this preview window is uh, big enough to fit inside this uh, area we can add prefix border so uh, also some uh, fixed text can be arranged here and I position here. We don't see anything spectacular yet, only architect and the dash line. We'll do the same with the designer. I'll say attribute. And I have to look for the exact uh, attribute that I used inside the project. So when I assign the attribute, I have say structural analysis or structural engineer address. And here I can place the designer. Go to attribute. And uh, I can also use a draftsman or whatever attribute I'd like to complete. If I want different text, it's no problem. Just label style, attribute. And here I'm going to look for client. And I can make it stand out. Maybe make a denser text, three. And I click here for the client. And I can proceed some more similar to the address. So I'll delete this static text and go for label style attributes and say client address. And I keep this small and place it underneath. Same goes for project title and project address. So we can work with this kind of attributes. Can go here still limited and after we finish with everything we have to define a foil so in order to save this we'll go to label style and say define foil we select this foil and we'll create as a reference point we'll select this lower right corner and here you need to remember this Title blocks can be accessed only if they are positioned in subfolder 7 or subfolder 8. You see that now we are placing them inside our office. So I'll go to subfolder 7, which I call title blocks. And here, number one, I'll say title personal, title block, or your company's name. We hit OK, OK, and that's it. We hit escape layout and here I'm going to get to setup page and I will remove that old title block and go to title block label and I will select office instead of default and go for this number one hit OK and close so we have here the title block but we do not have all the attributes assigned so it's time that we assign some extra information like the designer, the draftsman, the project title. So we'll go back to the project, right click, properties, assign attributes. So let's complete some information. Okay, and then we hit, hit OK. OK. OK again. And we got this updated. Uh, we can remove also this uh, area. We have here an offset that we can set to zero if you go to setup page. I'd like to remind you that the promotion for the full training uh, for all plan engineering in English will soon expire by the end of June. 
so the promotion expires but the course will still be available but if you order it by the end of June you'll get a very special discount and if you like my movies and would like to see more please subscribe so you'll get the latest news thanks for watching have a nice day